Man. Hello, it's another week of events starting in Epic Heroes. We have the Stellar Treasure. And who doesn't love the Stellar Treasure? Look at those chests and those rewards. Look at those rewards. Phases, rewards, good stuff. We have plain badges. Look at those rewards that we usually never get, except certain ones. And then you have the Stargazing Room in this lovely week of events startup. Without any further ado, let's get started with the events and we're going to go directly in. Let's open our chests and see what we can get. Usually we try to open as many chests as we can so we can finish the phases and get the rewards corresponding to the points we accumulated. Let's start off by selecting the skip functionality and let's make this a quick scenario. Let's open them all fast speeding. We're not interested in the cinematics. Okay, so we finished the first cycle of opening the chests. Second one is going to be the second type of the chests. We're going to open it hasty, speedy scenario. Next, we'll open the next set of chests and then the final one, the three. After we've done all of that, now we can actually collect all the chests that are gained by earning points. Then we're going to go back again into the cycle and open them, the ones that we gained. And then it will give us more chests and the cycle will keep on going up until a certain stage where it's not giving us any more chests. So yeah, it does take some time and a back and forth. But it is enjoyable, I believe, for players. By the way, if you want any information related to, especially, the Stellar Event Treasure, do let me know in the comment section of this video. Alright, now we're at another collection scenario. We are getting less chests, means we're close to actually the finishing point of all the chests and what we will gain by those chests. And after that, we can move into remaining parts, the remaining parts of the events we have this week. All right, we're coming up close on the finale of we've opened all our chests and all the chests we gained by opening another chest. Right, you come with chests, you open chests, you gain chests, and you open them again, and they give you more chests, and then you open them again until you're at the last section where you're not getting any more points sufficient for a chest. The ruby chest is going to be, I believe, one of the last ones we'll be go we're going to be getting. We're not going to be making any more points. Right, we need more points to actually gain more chests and do the same scenario. The points we used with the amount of chests got us close to, at least, coming close to the S plus hero choice card. We will be getting it during this event cycle. Now, as usual, you have the Stellar Pack if you want to purchase anything related to the event. You need to log in daily, collect your normal Sapphire chest. You can also buy the extra Collect More scenario, as you can see it here, and you will gain VIP points for doing that. So that's one, two, plain badges. Let's look at the quests. We have Pick Up the Auto Combat Reward. Auto Combat is exactly what you find here, the Auto Yield. Okay, we need to let it pickle for a couple of hours and then actually collect it. Then you have the plain badges, which is the, let's call it the currency you're going to be using to exchange for the rewards that you want here. My recommendation is either go for the Mithril, if you can, if you cannot, go for the common summon scrolls, if you cannot, and you're building your heroes, normal S plus hero selection card, and if you have built all the S heroes, Go for the S0 Relics custom card, select based on your needs, and of course you have the 4 star Universal Sigmato optional pack. So we have here the quests, one of them is the auto yield, the second is picking up the 5th chest of the daily quests, and the same of picking up the 5th chest. Once you've accum accumulated enough badges, it will actually give you rewards that you can see here, for the totality of badges, first at 50, then 100, then 200. Super gift is if you have the Deluxe Monthly card, especially this one, you can actually gain this as a gift. We'll actually have a look at the Deluxe Monthly card, but first let's go to the exchange and look at the hero they dropped for the Elite Hero of this week. The Elite Hero is going to be the Fury Wave. To exchange for the Fury Wave, you're going to be needing the Blood Frazel. Blood Frazel you get by destroying heroes that are B-ranked. If you do not know a B-ranked hero, go to the Portrait. Scroll down, 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 ordinary heroes ranked B. 
by destroying them you actually get blood frazzle blood frazzle is the currency you're going to be using to exchange the currency you're going to be using to exchange directly here in the decomposition store for the heroes that they add during the elite event actually they will add a good hero that's s plus for you to exchange other than this you can always exchange for the samurai girl s plus hero ranked and just destroy her in the recycle station back again to the plane badge we've collected our first plane badge scenario for day one right for the login you can also collect the extra three by watching ads daily that section the upper one that has 20 blue diamonds connected to it now what you're going to be doing is actually accumulating your plane badges during the event doing this lovely quests by actually completing the daily quest which is here you need to complete this okay each and every single day of the event and by completing it you'll actually gain the extra plane badges that come directly from the quests in the event let's do an extend summoning and we got Elodie, which is fantastic. Perfect. Great. Okay. Since we got a new hero, which is fantastic, and we still actually haven't completed the 360, which is fantastic because we got Nox yesterday, we got Elodie today. It's working uh, very nice this week. All right, let's carry on with doing the quests. We need to do the time travel quest. We'll also do the exclusive dungeon by sweeping. That's it. We're not going to be doing anything else. We're going to go back to the plane badges and see. So yeah, we'll pick up the fifth chest of daily quest. We've completed that. Pretty much this one first. And we need to complete collecting the last one. So we're going to be doing the tasks anyway every single day. Collecting chest by chest and seeing what we can do to hopefully gain more plane badges. You can always watch the ad. I think that's the only way for you to gain extra plane badges. And of course, completing the quests. All right, accept to cyberbar quests. Let's click on accept all. Let's add our tickets, advanced and normal, accept them. Another chest collected as you can see. And that actually is giving us more of the stellar treasure chests. All right, let's go back and that makes the only thing remaining ask for help in our union. All right, let's ask for help for now and let's go with purple diamonds and enchantment enchantment diamonds pretty much. All right, that would complete the daily quests and let's click on claim for the hero pass, go back to the plane badge and that would complete the first day of pick up the fifth uh, pick up the first chest and pick up the fifth chest now we need to wait for pick up 10 hours auto combat yield reward we have 35 plane badges currently and we're going to keep holding on to them until they at, re at least reach well 200 should be sufficient i'm gonna go for the s hero relic card all right let's move into the stargazing room let's collect the daily pack and then let's do our daily login then let's go to the quests, pick up the fifth chest, we've done that. Challenge five times in the arena, win five times in time travel. Let's go back to time travel, we can do one last time. One last battle, so we complete the five attempts. Okay, alright, that would complete it. And then let's awaken an epic hero and awaken a legendary hero. First, let's awaken Elodie. Yeah, they will need. okay, sure, sure, sure. Okay, let's take her to Epic. That will actually help us in the quest. The quests that are remaining, especially the Epic Awakening of a Hero. Alright, now we need to carry on in trying to awake a legendary hero. Okay, let's select these two heroes. And let's awake clear to legendary. Then let's take our hero here to excellent plus and then take her to epic let's look at how many times are remaining so we needed two epic and we need two legendary so we need to awaken another legendary all right let's see which hero would be more simplified in awakening 
of what is available yeah looks like it's going to be in the lovely nature faction all right let's select these two lady eyes and then let's select our lovely ninja zuzu zuru all right he's been awakened to legendary and if we go back that would complete the quest now what remains is challenge five times in the arena which is a quest you can speed run it meaning you can keep doing it until you fulfill the quest fully 100 percent on any given day all right we're just going to go and do five battles and we're going to stop after those five battles all right we lost in that one which is unfortunate we might need to adjust our hero selection let's try now still a loss okay i think for this one we can try to add the god slayer let's see no still still not strong enough all right let's try oh yeah okay because there's einstein okay let's add our einstein let's see how this will go no still all right if you're stuck in a scenario like this and you don't want to waste your time just refresh the battles by doing refreshing the battles you do lose your positioning all right it gets reset not really honestly honestly if you keep battling and you upgrade your master level above the current one you take it to master level one if you're master level two it's not going to make a difference at that uh, time by making a difference means it's not going to downgrade you instead of master two you'll be stuck at uh, master three or downgraded stuck at master two or downgraded to master three anyway we're just focusing now on doing the quest itself nothing more not about winning and how we can win all right so we did twice the challenge five times in the arena now it's time to go to the stargazing room and start with the stargazing stargazing room is very simple it can give you different rewards for for the full preview you can see the rewards for the common rewards for the intermediate and rewards for the advanced what you're going to be using is the lovely cards we've been collecting actually to summon this is considered summoning stigmata by the way so that's two and let's go to three all right so we got a three stars universal stigmata optional pack which will give us one of the selection cards we can select which is useless at three stars all right by using the a three stars universal stigmata optional summoning you can gain more of well you can gain it in the first place the intermediate star card by doing that only other than this you'll have to actually purchase the cards okay so we gain the cards we're going to wait until we at least get 10 of the intermediate star cards any cards we get that are from the advanced will come from the intermediate so it follows a cycle the universal three star will give you cards to summon in the four star and the four star will give you cards to summon in the six star six stars are the ones that can actually give you that high six stars universal stigmata optional pack the ones you see in front of you four stars you're pretty much stuck with this and you might get something like this the good stuff other than this the three stars is the lowest and it's worthless if you're more advanced in the game and pretty much you would log in daily do what remains of these tasks and you would be good to go all right i guess that would be the events that we have this week let's just showcase where we're at in upgrading our heroes as you can see more heroes are becoming closer to be awakened and we're also going to upgrade more of the portraits if we keep going like this nox also got awakened no let's show it here okay nox is now at epic plus elodie as you can see actually got upgraded also to epic plus and uh, the cycle carries on the baron also let's actually upgrade that we're still working on fixing his stuff and upgrading the remaining t1 to t2 
is not getting that much attention until it's actually awakened to immortal and then we can actually start focusing on building him correctly for now at least julia is getting more attention she's getting there at least in collection of relics we're working on that and of course one of the things we're beginning to finish more now is actually mecha valkyria we're still working on building the relics all of them have been collected they just need to be upgraded to level 60 and then taken to t1 same scenario when it comes to indira the relics have been collected but taken to level 60 still no t1 same scenario for the queen of desert say 60 but still not taken to level t uh, to the t1 all right let's finish off this video by doing one of the lovely relic summoning collected that let's do the x10 oh the game has been very good this week nice okay we need that actually okay let's do another three or four okay that's one two three four Let's make it until 30. I'm hoping it gives something. Anything. Nah, not gonna happen. We already got one. Alright, let's actually go add that relic directly to Space Kong. Almost there. Only one remains and then he's actually perfect for this specific task that his skill can do. He can increase the attack of your heroes and speed. And he can also decrease the speed of the enemy. So he works very similar to what you would say is... Where is it? Angel Wings. Yeah. He works very similar to Angel Wings. So from that, we're screwed. Because many of our artifacts have been removed from our heroes. And that is because of the reincarnation space. See that? He's become bold more than he is. Alright. Let's add his Radiance Tribute back and my god even his stigmata got removed he got stripped fully okay fantastic in any case we shouldn't be 111 but uh, i guess that's because of a lot of the gems divine artifacts and stuff are moved removed from the heroes all right guys thanks so much for tuning in for the video of this week covering the events one last thing we can do so you don't feel you didn't watch enough of the stellar we're going to open everything that we collected and we can hope that we're getting closer yeah we're getting closer to getting that s plus hero relics custom selection card All right guys thanks so much for tuning in and let's do another x10 you know why not oh we got nothing that's okay anyway thanks so much for tuning in do leave a like and a comment and subscribe and if you're interested in talking about any of the cool things you see in front of your eyes you can see it's a total accumulation a very long accumulation of different resources i'll be happy to have that conversation all right have a great day ahead guys